Hey, New York Comic Con, what's up? Thank you so much for coming out on a rainy, cold New York day for an awesome show. Uh, our first movie we're talking about is The Kingsman, coming out February 14th, 2020. Now, he flew straight from London to be here today. We have the director of the movie, Matthew Vaughn, here to come and tell us about it. Welcome, Matthew. It's so nice to be chatting with you. Now you're about you're about halfway through editing right now too. You're you're in the weeds on it. You're living the Kingsman life. Uh, yeah, living and dying. <laughs> now this movie is really cool because obviously we know the first two Kingsman movies, but this is different. This is an origin story. So why did you want to you know press pause right now and tell a, a different Kingsman story at this point? I had an itch to try and do. I, I think it's important as a director or at any type of artist to keep pushing your boundaries and not try and repeat yourself too many times as easy as it could, could have been. And um, I, 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 it's going to sound pretentious and we're never going to win an Oscar or anything like that, but I was uh, watching a lot of the Oscar movies and I just thought I'd never want to watch any of these films again. Um, uh, you know, they're good, but they're not repeatable <laughs> watching. Um, but when I was a kid, you know, Lawrence of Arabia, French Connection, Dr. Zhivago, you put them on, you want to watch them again. So I thought, let's go back in time and um, do a love letter to the movies I grew up on. Today, you brought a couple of special guests who mm -hmm. we're going to welcome out on stage right now. So first up, we have Jimon Hansu as Shola, <laughs> Harris Dickinson as Conrad, and last but not least, playing the Duke of Oxford himself, Ray Fiennes. <laughs> Ray, this is actually your first Comic-Con ever, too, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Let's give him a big welcome. Now, Rafe, I want to start with you. Uh, talk to us a little bit. What attracted you to wanting to come on board a Kingsman origin story, this, this epic movie that uh, Matthew's been putting together? You? Okay. Yeah? Uh, well, I enjoyed the first King Kingsman films, and I um, very much um, respected the, uh, the clever balance of uh, relationship and action that I think Matthew established. I mean, the relationship between Colin Firth's character and Taron Edgerton. And I thought it was an unusual and original spin on the British spy theme. Um, and I was flattered and delighted when Matthew proposed this prequel to the story. And uh, I've had a wonderful time working with Harris and Diamond. And uh, I hope that uh, when you see the film that you, I think you will see there's a, a richness to the, the beginnings of how the Kingsman Intelligence Agency started. There's a, a line your character says in the movie where reputation is what people think of you and character is what you are. And that seems to be kind of the crux and heart of this relationship. Talk a little bit about you know, how they're kind of differing opinions on war and, and their role in the society as gentlemen makes the heart of the movie. Well, without giving away too much, um, a, a, a tragedy has happened to the family, which has given my character, the Duke of Oxford, a particular perspective about warfare. He, he's essentially a, a, a pacifist. And his son, um, Conrad, grows up, of course, when England is going to, into the First World War, wanting to, to step up and, and join the army, join the forces, and, and, and honor his nation. And so I think in, in that, differing opinion about combat and, and, and violence, that, that's, there's a tension. How about for you though, Harris? Because it seems like uh, Conrad is kind of, he doesn't understand where his father's coming from, it doesn't seem. Well, no, it's interesting because he's sort of, he, he's a little bit naive, you know, and he's going through this stage. He's at a point in his life where he's, he's sort of realizing what it means to be a man amidst a time where you're sort of being defined by your bravery and being defined by your sort of ability to be able to go off and fight for a cause and I think he's got this like passion that he doesn't quite um, fully know how to fulfill and then that's the sort of interesting dynamic you know because it comes up against his father's pre-existing and perhaps better 
morality, you know, so it's interesting. Yeah. Now, Jaiman, your character Shola, he's, he's a former war conrad of the Dukes, but now he's kind of like a bodyguard meets butler for the family, which I imagine, uh, and we've seen this tease in the trailers, means you get a lot of really, really cool action scenes. And now obviously the Kingsman movies are known for their really stylized action, but you were saying uh, when we were talking a little bit before this, the action in this movie is actually pretty different for the films and, and was challenging for you who has this whole stunt fight background. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, I didn't really think going to this film, uh, given the fact that it's a period piece, given the fact that it's also um, the, uh, uh, tells the, uh, the, uh, uh, the history of uh, the early formation of Europe, and, uh, and that was quite an interesting uh, as a uh, 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 sort of like a um, uh, base mm -hmm. uh, 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 of this story, and I think it's, uh, that was quite uh, amazing, but you know, at the end of the day, I was looking on the film thinking that it was, this was an, e an easy uh, uh, approach to action-driven stories. And given the fact that it's a period piece, and uh, also how do we look at uh, uh, this period uh, and uh, imagine the war heroes or so, some of the superheroes of that time. He, he hated so taking his top off, although a, you should be uh, proud of what is yeah, underneath this. He's this was a very painful film to make. <laughs> say. That's what I was trying to get to. It. And you know, and so every day you come to set and you're with uh, working with Ray Fine, who is, uh, you know, literally, it's like, uh, ass you know, assisting a master class in acting, you know, mm. and it's so- It was. To yeah. And- Now what was amazing about Rafe was, it was like having a co-director, which I loved, that sometimes I'd miss something and Rafe was like these laser beam eyes, <laughs> scanning everything behind me and he'd just nod or, whisper something and it was always um, <laughs> on point. it was it was totally on point and, and it was great. It was a real team effort this film. 